Well, hey guys, happy Thursday. It's freezing. Tomorrow is June 1st and I am in a hoodie. I am in sweatpants and I actually put socks on my feet. I rarely wear socks, um, even in the winter. I wear flip-flops around my house um, and so I don't usually wear socks and flip-flops together and I don't know, my house is just usually warm in the winter so I don't feel the need for it. However, it's freezing today. So, so, so cold. I started the day with all the windows open and it was warmer this morning, um, but it just got so cold and all the cool wind blowing through the house really made it cold. The furnace is off, so I shut the windows, it rained, I don't know, it's freezing, but it's kind of cozy to be in, in my little sweats. <laughs> so anyways, it's Thursday and um, Aubrey just got home from school. I am going to do a couple house cleaning things. Um, I'm going to shine up my sink, fly lady style. I've been putting that up for a long, long time and I need to get it done. So I'm going to do that. My kids are scrapping. Um, it's not Thursday. Did I say it's Thursday? It's Wednesday. I keep thinking it's Thursday. Uh, yeah, it's been a long week. <laughs> it's so I was very just nonchalantly pulling my dishes out of this laundry basket and I realized that I, <laughs> this is a funny moment. So my dear sweet husband has a problem. He never, ever brings his lunch dishes from his car when he comes in at night. It's just a thing. He was carpooling with a friend for a while and when he was carpooling, he obviously always brought his lunch bag in because the friend drove most of the time um and so we you know i'd wash his dishes at night however once the friend quit the job and um so now shane's driving again all of these dishes were in his vehicle guys i actually made his lunch for yesterday i pulled out six containers there's one here that's not even part of the six all of <laughs> all of this so, <laughs> as the reason that they are in this basket is because I do not do this. I do not, I do not wash these. After these have been sitting in his vehicle for two or three weeks, um, yeah, I'm a bad wife. I will not wash these. Sorry. And so he usually washes them with no complaint. However, it had really been like three weeks since he brought his dishes in. So he took them all to his mom's house yesterday and they ran them through the dishwasher. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So she packed them all up in this laundry um, basket with the towel to protect everything from breaking. And yeah, met him last night and gave him the dishes. And I'm assuming that these are a little gift from her, some plastic silverware so that I could have, you know, my silverware back. Is that crazy? Oh my gosh, like this has like a couple bowls in it. There's like bowls here. And I actually, I pulled out a mason jar today because I give him, he takes um, cereal to work in these containers. And then he takes a mason jar of milk to use with his cereal. And so I was out of mason jars. He hasn't been taking cereal for a long time. Oh my gosh, like this is the craziness. All right, so my kids are playing dinosaur in the background. I just wanted to share with you my wrap up for the night. So all of these things have to be put away. This is my lettuce for salads. Um, I had all these cups from Pampered Chef. Um, they're one cup little prep bowls and they have the um, cup indications on the side so like quarter cup, half cup, three quarters of a cup and they came with white lids and I only have them all right here. I only question. Oh my goodness. Suri is talking to me. What the heck? <laughs> I had her in my, um, my hoodie pocket and I'm like pressed up against the counter and Apparently she thought I was talking to her. Um, anyways, the lids are like this, and I only have one left, and I think I have like six bowls. So these are almost pointless to me because I do have lots of other small bowls, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think you can order extra lids, but they really just are sort of pointless. 
Um, so I'm just gonna use some saran wrap. And feta cheese that has to be put away, one leftover bun from tonight. Um, the, we had um, Italian sausages, and so what I did was I packed up two for Shane for tomorrow, and these I cut up for later. We're gonna do an Italian pasta sausage bake. This is a recipe from um, Carrie Grace, um, her YouTube channel, and it's a favorite, 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 favorite recipe. So I have the sausages all cut up and ready to go for that. Okay, so my lettuce, and then I've got Shane's lunch prepped for tomorrow. I will throw in a fruit, probably just an apple, so I'll need to wash that up. But I made him a salad, and I have a little uh, cup in here with his salad dressing and some broccoli. And then these are his sausages ready to go for tomorrow. Whoa. And then his cereal and his milk. So I'm gonna put that in a bag and that will be all ready to go for tomorrow. I went ahead and poured in my baking soda in this little glass jar here. Um, I just keep this under my sink and I use this baking soda for cleaning and um, for scrubbing out my pots when they get kind of really gunky and gross. Um, I use, excuse my dirty dish water, I gotta drain my sink. But I use these like nylon scrubbies, so I'm gonna have to throw this one away because it's really um, got a lot of food in it. I mean, this is so gross, y'all. But I use those nylon scrubbies from the dollar store. And you get like six or eight in a pack, I can't remember. Um, and so, you know, once they're, they're gross, you can throw them away. Um, yeah, so I just keep that under my sink. I've got my dishes done. I washed my makeup brushes today, so they're there drying. I'm hoping to get my tutorial filmed, um, my get ready with me, but I needed clean brushes. So there are those. My dishes are drying, and tonight we've got to get the recycling out. So my plan was to just try and get as much packaging out of my house as possible so that we can be ready for um, recycling tomorrow. So there we go. My kids are wild, my husband's on his way home. Um, they're gonna stay up, I think, a few minutes longer to see him, because um, they haven't seen him in a couple days, and they both had naps today, which is crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the dishes away that are in um, the clothes basket here, sweep the floor, give it a quick little mop, and call it a night. Hey guys, it is Thursday and I have lost my motivation today. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened, but in all honesty, I have just had a kind of day. Um, I have a huge mess behind me on my bed. I'll show you. See all that? Yeah. I tried to film my get ready with me today and... I am not, I'm not a person who knows how to do their makeup on camera. The lighting was awful. I filmed in here. My skin looked so gray. Um, like the colors weren't even showing up on my skin. It was just, 
it was awful and it took a really really long time and so long that like my hair dried really funny and now it looks kind of kind of weird and I have to go out today which stinks <laughs> because I have to go out and I'm a hermit and I don't usually go out but figures on the day that I do my hair looks kind of funny and I'm really annoyed because I dyed my hair like a week ago and already my gray is showing through and I'm so ticked off it looks like I barely even dyed it like it's all coming through it looks terrible so I'm kind of annoyed about that that was a lot of money to buy hair dye not a lot of money it's 10 bucks but that's a lot of money to me because I'm cheap <laughs> So, anyways, yeah, I'm just feeling hurt, and, um, but I need to go pick up some trophies for the field trial for this weekend. Shane can't even go. Um, it's here in town, and he has, like, a part of it, like, he's supposed to help put it on, but he has to work, so he can't run in it, and he can't go, um, so, kind of a bummer. So I have to go pick up the trophies for that, and then come back home, and I don't even know. I have been like trying to watch some YouTube videos because there's some really good videos uploaded today and my internet is hardly working. I've been trying to upload a vlog now for three days and it is my internet is like a slow trickle. I can only watch like four seconds of something before it stops and buffers and tries to load again. So we've had consistent internet problems forever and we had a tech come out a few months ago and he installed something that like doubled our speed and that was really great like I could watch like Periscope which I can't usually ever do um, I could uh, watch all kinds of things with no problem I could watch YouTube in my bedroom and our bedrooms the furthest away from our router so um, but yeah I could like consistently watch YouTube I could consistently watch Periscope like the speed was fabulous I could upload quickly and now it's down to a slow crawl again and it's really frustrating because I I like to have YouTube on or a podcast or something while I'm like doing my housework and just you know for something on in the background because it's quite quiet without it um so anyways it's just frustrating when you're trying to listen to something and you get four or five seconds in and then it stops and then it starts and then it stops and it's just annoying so it's a kind of an off day for me today um, I'm sure it'll turn around it's Friday and that's so exciting I've been waiting for Friday but I'm just not feeling it so I am home from getting the trophies I threw my hair up because I just can't deal with it today it looked cute kind of ish in that uh, last clip but it stopped looking cute Anyways, Uncle has fallen asleep and I'm just really in a funk. Um, I'm feeling frustrated about my yard. I, th I don't know if I shared. I know I did. I can't remember if I even kept the clip, whether it was in the last vlog, but the outside of our house is like, <sighs> it needs an overhaul and 90 percent of the work is stuff I can't do on my own and the percent that I can do I need help with like it's not easy and there's construction projects and there's just everything that needs done and it's so frustrating and I live in an older subdivision and there's a lot of retirees here and I just drove home and I'm driving by all these men that are no longer working and they're outside sweeping their driveways and watering their lawns and tending their flower beds and this that and the next thing and I'm pulling to my driveway and I realize like how much work we have to do and how big of an eyesore our outside is and realizing that like my husband works a thousand times more than any of these people do because they're not working the person that lives behind us who is a constant bug he's like laid off and so like it's just hard knowing that my husband isn't even here to mow the lawn and they're like sweeping their driveways 
and it's just, it's frustrating and it's hard. I am like really missing Shane. I think we are just really two ships passing in the night and like I'm so fine with that most of the time because I'm just really independent. I like and crave time to myself. Like I just am not somebody who's like super needy as far as needing like quality time. But it's just it is hard like to not really talk to the person that you love and we text a bit throughout the day but like that's such a small exchange and again I feel a lot of guilt because I know that my situation is so much better than some people who don't have their spouse with them who's like in the military or you know single moms and stuff like that like my situation is completely it's so small compared to what other people have so it gives me guilt and I don't know I'm just just in a funk today and I feel like a lot of the things that I'm frustrated about I can't take care of and I can't fix and I can't deal with and it's just hard and we've got a whole other month of this and we just have so many projects to do and I can't do them like unless I learn how to use power tools and maybe I should just like get up the gumption and learn to do use power tools and do what I want to do and I don't even know I don't know and I can't even ask my father-in-law to help because he's out of town like I just my resources feel so small and I'm just frustrated I'm frustrated that my husband is working so much and my kids miss him and they're acting out because they miss their dad and I'm just dealing with them myself and now I'm crying on the internet like uh I'm just off today and I think a lot of the time I can be a very positive person because I have worked really hard all my life to be not all my life <laughs> I have worked really hard though to be a positive person. My middle name is Joy and I've worked really hard to like allow that to be an embodiment of who I am. And I've allowed the Lord to do a lot of healing in my life from a lot of brokenness. And so Joy is incredibly important to me and I try to live that but life is not always rosy and I certainly do get in funks and today is a funk day and I think I probably just need to go get a big glass of water I need to zone out for a little bit I'm just even today this morning I had my quiet time and a verse that really stuck out to me was in Proverbs I forget where it's from but it says guard your heart for out of it oh I'm drawing a blank <laughs> guard your heart for out of it is the wellspring of life or something like that but basically you need to be guarding your heart because through it flows life and I, I found myself today just feeling really crappy like watching like Instagram and like other things that like you take in and you just see things that other people have and you just you feel crappy because you're not in that position you don't have those things you don't look like that like I don't know just all of the visual things that we can take in during a day and that I have taken in and I'm just feeling very inadequate and it's stupid like it's I know it's stupid I live in North America and we have more than the majority of the world like it's stupid to feel this way so and then I just get mad at myself that I feel that way so it's just a cycle and I'm really in a funk so I'm gonna get off here I'm gonna go inside have a big drink of water my neighbor is sitting on her porch looking at her phone and I'm sure she's probably wondering what I'm doing sitting here talking because I've been in my truck a really long time.
Anyways, um, Aubrey will be home soon, so I need to get out of here. In other news, I got an inf influencer box, which should be fun to open. Whatever it is, I got on a campaign that gives you, like, it's like the first time it's in Canada. I don't know, it's some spring kind of fun box. So, I think there's a bunch of products inside. Hopefully it'll be something fun. Something sounded like it was, like, shaking. Like, all I could think was, like, gain dryer or gained flings or whatever like like washer whiff type things I don't know so I'm gonna go inside and open that and I'll show you what I get because that could be fun influencer anybody could do it I'll leave the um, link for it down below <laughs> go sign up because you can get free products if you qualify for their campaigns and you just have to basically Share your experience and show it on social media and blah, 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 blah. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. Thanks. Okay. And if anybody wants to know the slip color, I always get asked. I will tell you what it is. I keep this in my truck. Oops. Let me switch hands. My neighbor's gone. This is Bonnie Bell, like that really cheap lip gloss. It is in, it is called Pink Teeny. That's what it is. I just keep it in my truck so that I have something to put on my lips because I don't often put stuff on my lips. So that's what that is. <sighs> it's a pretty color. He's been starting to wake up really early in the morning and he wakes up Aubrey. Last night, he was asking to go to bed at 10 after 6 and that's after sleeping for an hour on the floor. I had to wake him up for dinner and he wasn't happy. So this is almost 10 minutes long now and I'm sure I'll probably cut it because I can talk forever. It makes the vlog really long. He wants to watch me talk. Ugh. Okay, so here is the box. I just undid the tape and we're now good time. My son is having a meltdown because he wants to watch my phone and mommy said no. Okay, so ooh, the Spring Vibes Vox Box. And looks like this has all the products in it, so I'm not gonna look too much into it. Ooh, fun food. Okay, so. There is a fruit and nut bar. Looks like there's two of them. Dark chocolate cherry and orchard fruit. These will probably go in Shane's lunches or for the kids. Ooh, fun. Ooh. Nails. So these are one step gel nails. Ooh, that. I actually used, there's a brand of nail that I used to get and I really like them. Um, those look fun. I love the gold glitter. I love gold. So. That should be fun. And my kids will flip because they love mac and cheese and they love the Annie's mac and cheese. So that will be fun for them. And then, ooh, what is this? <sighs> Yay, um, Nescafe little coffees. Um, fun, you just pour them in your coffee. Get out of town. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, there's a mosquito. Oh my gosh. One of these pop pocket pop sockets. So you stick this on the back of your phone and then you kind of like hold on to this and it keeps you from dropping your phone. I'm pretty certain that's what that is. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. That pattern is really ugly. But I'm thinking I could like DIY that or something. Like put some vinyl over it. <gasps> Yay, I've been wanting one of those. So exciting. Please forgive my son. He's just really having a tantrum. He's just really tired and doesn't even want to speak to me. So, okay. Oh, sweet. Free laundry soap. That's awesome. 
I actually will probably pick up these packs and take them to camp with us. Um, these will be way easier than taking like laundry soap. We, cause when we go to camp, we're gone for like two weeks and we occasionally do laundry midweek because that's just a lot of clothes. So it's just easier to bring these packs than to bring soap. Although who knows, maybe I'll get the soap. That's really exciting. This is an awesome box. And then this is, oh, Nivea Firming Body Oil. Hello, thank you, I need this. Um, Firmer feeling skin in two weeks. Reduces the look of stretch marks, even skin tone, and nourishes. Oh, this will be awesome. Oh my gosh, so that is fun. Guys, I got all these products for free. So go check out Influencer if you haven't. Oh my gosh, and what is this? Ernie Ebates. They're talking about Ebates. Do you guys use Ebates? I haven't signed up for it yet. I hear that it's amazing. So I need to pack this better. So anyways, I gotta go. My child is melting down and Aubrey's gonna be home soon, but I'm really excited about this pop stuff kids thing. Yay, I've been wanting one. So I'm powering through and cleaning the bathroom. It is almost 6.30. I'm this close to getting the kids in bed. Um... She has to work late tonight, and then there's that field try in town, so he is actually going to the field to see some friends who came up, so I won't see him till probably 11 o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm going to get the, bath, the tub cleaned, and while the kids are having a bath, I'm going to work on the living room because I really want to get that done because I like to just relax in a clean space. And our living room hasn't really been cleaned in a while, and I have no energy, but I'm going to power through, so we can do this. Okay. I'm throwing this into the bathtub tonight in hopes that it will help them sleep better. So if this is any indication about how my night has been, yeah, <laughs> actually it's been a fairly decent evening. It's just a bit after eight now. The kids are finally in bed. I'm just beat. I'm ready to relax. I have one pan left to wash. I need to wipe down the table and clear it off from just some random stuff. Wipe up the floor, put a few things away. And then I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to have a big bowl of ice cream because hashtag I just really don't care. Um, and relax all night long. My internet is a slow trickle still. So hopefully I'll be able to watch some YouTube or something. Hopefully. And I'm going to relax. <laughs> so thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm going to call it quits here because I know that the vlog is getting long. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for being there. Thanks for being cool. Thanks for being you. I appreciate you guys more than I can possibly say. I hope you are doing well. Have a good one. Bye.